Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gnome Show After jo- After Dark. I am Josh, your humble host, and uh, tonight uh, we are looking at uh, Uncanny Places to Visit, one, uh, by Anomaly Aesthetics. Um, and let me go, get, go ahead and give it a like, because... But thou. Um, it is my job to trawl the abyss that is uh, YouTube uh, and uh, bring up shiny bits for you and I to watch together. Um, tonight, we're looking at anomaly aesthetics. Um, without further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah, I have surround sound, so it's kind of t- hard to, uh, for me to tell, like, if it's too loud, because, um, like, I literally can't tell. Um, I've got microphones and everything around me, and, like, speakers everywhere, um, so, um, I, uh, if, if it's too loud, let me know, um, uh, but, you know, otherwise, you know, I'll just, if it's comfortable for me, that's where it is. hospitals not one bit not visiting not fucking like it not 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 mm -mm. and it's (coughs) (coughs) it's not so bad yeah it is Hospitals, (coughs) Hospitals, <coughs> are, and it's not the. There's a lot of suffering going on in, in hospitals, and there's a lot of suffering going on in uh, nursing homes, um, uh, old folks' homes, um, things of the like. Um, I, um. I get it, 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 I hate being in places like that. I can feel it. Um, no, it's not so, so crass as to be like, oh, I feel the specter of death. It's more as, like I was saying, it's like if I feel the suffering, um, like uh, the misery coming off the walls, uh, it has nothing to do with death. It's just it has everything to do with the 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 pain that people go through when they're in these halls. Um, that and it's usually really quiet and like um, almost like a tomb, except for the coughing. Um, and you know, I I just don't like places like this. It's it's definitely um, an un they're they are uncanny places because like. They are simultaneously full and yet empty uh, in the way that they feel. 
Uh, you know, their their place might be absolutely like uh, like all rooms full, but you know, like it's generally super quiet and creepy. question uh, uh a friend uh the other day asked me what my um um what like what your fears were um and i told him that it was deep water um and let's stick to real world um you know fears Before you even get to the things that can eat you. Being stuck in Point Nemo territory. Where no matter which direction you go. You're going to die. Unless they find you. Um, uh, whether it's the sun. Or starvation. Or dehydration. Or the aforementioned uh, creatures of the sea. Um uh like uh, like uh, that's what i'm like that shit fucking scares me you know absolutely fucking terrifies me uh, like you are there is no land in sight I, you know and, and and you know i know people have made it for the you know people have survived you know like you know like it, it is possible you know when the sharks aren't hungry and the sun is just uh gentle enough for you to float to fucking safety on that door um, yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, but, um, yeah, for every one, there's most that don't, uh, um, so deep water scares the fuck out of me, um, it's, uh, like, deep pool water, no, I don't mind that, you know, cause, like, I know there's no fucking sharks down there unless my mind, uh, uh, forces them to be there, uh, you know, my imagination can fucking scare me without any help, um, but um, other than that, actually, deep pools kind of fucking, like, uh, really calm me. Um, because if I can get down there without blowing my eardrums, or if I can climb, acclimate to it, like, which you can, uh, <clears throat> um, um, then, um, yeah, like, I, like, look, if I had access to a deep pool, I would absolutely be able to fucking breathe forever after it. Like I would, I would totally use it. I would be like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna train. Like I would. Like I've done it. Like I've, like uh, when I was, uh, uh, in my younger days, um, I could swim from one end to the other, uh, uh in an Olympic size swimming pool without coming up, and I could make it halfway back the other way. And by the end of the time I was done, almost just, just barely, just make it to and uh for, uh like all the way to you know one way and then turn around and come back the other way um almost almost died doing it uh, you know but no i mean i could have come up at any time like but yeah like I, I i could do it um so having access to a deep uh water pool would be something that i would absolutely do oh that would be so cool that's where you can do meditation right there when I was a kid, I used to know um, this dude. He was uh, he was a preemie, and he used to be able to just sink down to the bottom of the fucking pool and just stay there for minutes. Um, and I was like, um, "That's pretty cool." Is that a, 
It almost looks like a painting. the way it's lit because there's no other light and uh, like I, I don't know I can resolve it as being there um, but um, it very much looks like it's painted or painted in I don't know like I I, I, I Maybe like a core, a portion of this is digital art. I don't know. Um, like that just definitely looks. Uh, this looks definitely um, doesn't look like it's there to me. But uh, like except for the back portion right here, um, that that does look like uh, like uh, like. Only because, like, I can force my mind to resolve this is just how, like, uh, like, like, um, um, parts of this are sandblasted wood or whatever. Like, where you can see that, like, some of it, like, had a pressure washer or tried to, like, a, like, it was a planing type thing. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I was stuck in a soda on me. How you doing, viewer? Nice to see you. Uh, we're watching um, Unsettling what is this? Uncanny Places to Visit uh, by Anomaly Aesthetics. See, when I look at the bottom part, like uh, this underneath the where the bench is I can resolve that as being real it's just the way the wood looks it just looks weird it's definitely in uncanny So I think this is uh, one of those exercises, uh, like in liminal spaces type stuff. The one before this was um, uh, a hospital corridor. Yeah, I've... Um this is, yeah, like, I've stopped and, like, had, I caught myself looking at, um, at, uh, places like this in nature, um, odd rock formations, um, the way the trees look, I've tried to draw that too, um, it's pretty interesting, like, uh, getting, cause you're just, like, uh, a lot of times you're just looking for the shapes to stand out in contrast. funny that if, because because uh, like if you're watching this like uh, yourself it kind of forces you um, to examine the image uh, you know like and look at the 
spaces uh, and the individual shapes, um, including the uh, the camera uh, flash or uh, camera lights or whatever, whatever's reflecting in here on the window or there on the window, because um, it looks like it's behind glass or something like that. Maybe this is somebody's backyard. So that's a super shiny floor because you can see the pillars uh, in the reflection. Um, maybe it's flooded, uh, uh, or that could be water, uh, or that's just a fucking highly buffed fucking uh, floor. Um, it's a nice space though. That looks like rubble down there in the corner. seeing darker shadows in your uh, maybe in your film because the green screen in mine washes out the green all the in mine it's all green That's for damn sure. Uh, looks like it might have been abandoned, or this is like I don't know. Like this is this is uh, not uncanny. It's more like uh, un unsettling uh, in a very very real way. <clears throat> um, like maybe that's the dirt on the filter of the camera. The, on the lens of the camera that's showing it up like this. This looks like some fucking, um, some Evil Dead type, type stuff. I think I miss my calling as a photographer. Uh, oh, who knows? It 
it's uh there's always um fuck you can always become a photographer there's no there's no there's no time frame for that maybe maybe one day i've done some in the past but not like much mr anomaly aesthetics um yes uh a study in uh, i guess uh, maybe liminal yeah it felt like liminal spaces to me um um uncanny spaces like it's uh, yeah um that was nice um yeah some some people like us are weird you know yeah, we look like uh, like uh, seeing creepy spaces <clears throat> so um that was uh, uncanny places to visit. Um, there's like, and then there's like, um, um, maybe the next one, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you thought about these, uh, these, these very creepy places uh, down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I love you all. Be safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Yeah. Let's. Um, I definitely want to check out everyday stories and it's only four minutes um and um then let's see um there's all 
So this to look at, this one to look at. Yeah, there's a lot. I, there's so much to look at. Um, but um, I definitely, it's, it's getting into 10 o'clock already. Um, so we'll do this one, and then I will switch over to um, uh, Fallout. So, um, This is being kind of weird. Um, I'm going to have to wait for it to do its thing before I go on to the next one anyway. You're worrying me, OBS. <laughs> 